Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Rags to Riches. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, you can go check it out, but you didn't miss that much. We're just starting off Rags to Riches and we were able to purchase our first horse. Look at them both sleeping like kind of next to each other. I find this very, very cute. I basically just put them to a bed. It's currently 6 a.m. Our energy is almost filled up and yeah this is firefly our first horse that we rescued so we adopted this horse she's doing okay her hunger is low and then her fun is low so she's gonna go play with the ball i'm guessing we can hand feed her again or we can buy the feeder but i think i've decided that in this episode i want to start our garden because that should be free because you can just plant things on the ground and then i want to buy the nectar maker so let's actually take a look at how much that costs and if we could maybe afford that right now we cannot it's 350 we're not that far off do we want to have eventually like the farmhouse in the middle and then like spread everything else around like where do we want to put the garden maybe kind of in the front i feel like that would be cute anyways we are done sleeping do we have anything to eat? Do they just sleep in their everyday clothes when they are in the sleeping bag? So. Oh yeah, and I forgot while she was sleeping, I did some more frog breeding. I think, yeah, we can do it again. So I'm gonna breed the expensive frogs. So I think I have two of these whirly flower frogs. So if we do that, I think, yeah, we get another one. So I'm gonna sell a bunch of these for more money actually we can buy the nectar maker now that it's actually never mind i'm gonna keep two and i'll sell my other ones because i don't need these i'm just gonna breed the more expensive ones look we have 500 simoleons perfect let's get our nectar maker i mean i know we don't even have any grapes yet or anything but i'm too excited i really really want to get it so if you click on this craft nectar, you do need the ingredients. Oh, so we do, we would have the prairie grass that you need for this, but you need to have skill level three. I think the max is five. And then, oh my God, these are expensive. So apple seems to be the cheapest, but you need three. That's 42. I'm not going to do that. I'd rather go and find some harvestables in the world i'm gonna wake up our horse so that she can go and get her fun knead up and then should we buy the feeder like obviously it is quite good because then they can just autonomously eat from it maybe i'll do that it was only 50 our horse deserves to have the basic needs covered so let's buy the feeder here it is hey now animal feeder we do have to fill it but we should have enough prairie grass to do that so where do we want to put it here is fine oh my god i'm already using all the money that we just gathered so i think if we go if we click on this refill the feeder with prairie grass so that's just using the ones that are in our inventory that took like four. Oh, this is also slightly dirty okay i'm gonna put that in our inventory it should be yeah oh poor quality I don't think we want to use poor quality on our plants, but I will clean the bed. Well, this is a new animation as well. I love it. Yeah, we want to make sure our horse is happy. Where did our horse go? Did you go drink? Oh, you went to eat from there. I literally just purchased you a feeder. <laughs> I'm just gonna call her to play because that is the only way I have found out to get her fun need up. And then... Okay, at least you're not hungry anymore. Then we will travel somewhere where we can use the bathroom. Here she comes. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, we're so happy. Do you like your new ball? <laughs> I think so. Okay, that's very cute. I did read your guys' comments and a couple of you said to not use penny pixies, that you'll get too much money. Is there anything I could make and sell on Plopsy that has to do with this pack? Um, maybe once we get some wool and stuff, we could do some knitting. Oh, I would love to get our first little mini sheep or goat. We are close to being able to afford it. All right, we're traveling. Okay, so we have visited the Oak Barrel and the Duke's Hall. They're both nice lots. I think this time we could go to someone's house, you know. 
I didn't even think about that. I was gonna say we go to the nightclub, the Rusty Horseshoe. Do we wanna visit somebody? Have we met any of these people? Wait, let's go visit the Grove family, use their bathroom, you know, <laughs> maybe steal some food. Oh my god, we're wearing our stunning hot weather outfit. Look at their horses. So this is Luna. Oh my god, I love her. She's so pretty. I love like this coloring on horses. I just think it's stunning. And then we have Star Bright, who is a little foal. Okay, cute. And here is um Ren. I am not gonna say hi now because we are bursting for the bathroom. Oh my god, what is the front door? Am I dumb? How do you get into this house? Knock on door? What did I just click on? I don't even know. I feel like this door here should definitely be the front door. Apparently it has not been set properly. Where is this door? Oh, it's all the way back here. Okay, it's the back door that we're knocking on. Please come on in and run to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so we have some sims here. Please get out of here. Thank you, Umber. Oh, okay. Okay. This is Umber Grove. Oh my god, this house is stunning. I love the color palette. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Like the teal and then the beige and the white. Oh my god, stunning. What do we have upstairs? <gasps> Cute little horse themed kids room. Okay, that is a stunning house. Oh, should we do, can we take a shower at someone's place? Maybe not, but let's um, brush our teeth. Maybe wash our hands again. We'll take a shower if it rains again. <laughs> and then can we steal their food? We can probably have a quick meal and they won't mind because we are very hungry. Yeah, this is free. So uh, what do we want to have? Let's have a veggie pizza roll up. Hopefully they won't get mad at us. But I mean, it doesn't seem to be anyone else home except for umber and then the little kid who i've lost they have a little like stable building out here cute with two horse beds and then we have the barrels oh yeah we should definitely start on the barrel racing or show jumping today as well okay we've got some food we're not gonna starve to death <laughs> that actually looks decent and they're not mad at us oh here's the little kid and the horses are interacting. How's our horse doing? <laughs> She's just chilling there. These windows as well, giving in like this much light. Oh my God, hold on. Look, oh, oh my God, the roof. Um, They're huge. I love this. It's like a modern farmhouse. I am absolutely obsessed. Maybe we should say hi to uh, our hosts. <laughs> And not just steal stuff from their house without even interacting with them. Hello, Umber. How are you? Ooh, we can compliment the house. Absolutely. That is literally what I was just doing. We can tell a joke about a horse. We can do a little gossip about the neighbors. And then I want to get back to our horse because I feel bad. She's just standing there. Oh, well, let's breed the frogs while we are here. Yep, you can do it again. And we can sell the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I just favorite? You can sell one of the frogs. Yes, a favorited item. Okay, that's fine. Great, we have basically 300 simoleons, which should be enough to adopt one of the mini goats or sheep. Or we could do a competition. Well, I don't know if we're gonna place though. Hi, Firefly. Are you up for a hug? Yeah, oh, okay. Let's try and calm her down. She's feeling scared. Oh, honestly, these interactions are so pretty. They make me feel so happy. She's a bit hungry still, so I think we should give her a bit of food, hand feed her. They didn't have like a field feeder here, do they? No, it's empty. Here we go. Let's do a quick brush as well. Look how high our friendship is already. I feel like this definitely has something to do with the fact that she's a horse lover. Or do you just befriend horses really fast? Because we're almost like absolute best friends, which should be good. It should help us because she's a defiant horse. Hopefully she'll be nicer to us and not buck us off or anything. All right, let's mount Firefly and let's do some barrel. Oh, hold on. Now we're on. Are we gonna stay on? I think we're good. So let's do, oh my God, we're cantering. 
stunning. Okay, yeah, we acquired the agility skill, or our horse did. It will begin to help her perform better when using horse barrels, and they will perform better, etc. Okay, cute. I do think, because, you know, I have been playing for a while with early access with a different family. I think this is kind of boring. Like, this is all that they do. This is literally just non-stop. And I haven't seen any fails or anything. Like, you do sometimes touch the barrels and they move a little bit, but they don't fall over or anything. At least when you're doing the horse jumps, you can knock over some of the beams. But in this one, it's just this. And then once you get a little bit better, you can race. And then you will be, like, galloping. So you'll be going really fast. But that is all there is to it, but it's still cute. I've never seen this in real life. It's definitely not a thing where I live, at least not very common. I do, I mean, come on, with my reshade on, this world looks so pretty. I'm kind of obsessed. And yeah, we could go to a competition if we maybe get our agility up to next level. Maybe we should sneak some more food from here before we leave. Oh, and I should check for, um any uh, harvestables around this area while we're here oh yeah there's a rock right there oh this is our neighborhood isn't it because i'm recognizing this area we don't live that far from here <gasps> another sim is here who are you juniper oh hello oh my god she's so pretty i'm assuming she lives here <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do this until we get our skill to the next level. Maybe not the agility skill, because that's gonna take way too long. Oh, there we go. Perfect horse riding level three. Oh yeah, okay, so we can now direct our horse to practice jumps or the barrels by themselves, which means you can just leave your horse to it. Your Zim doesn't need to stand there and direct them the whole time. You can just ask them to do it and then go and do something else, which is really good for getting their skills up. So I'm gonna stop this and then we can canter over here and dig up this rock. I do wanna see the canter because we have not done that much yet. <gasps> There's Don as well on his horse. I think the horse is called Duke. Wait, is it that lot with the stables called Duke's Hall or something? I can't see the horse's name. It is not popping up, but I swear it's called Duke. All right, let's canter. Oh, wow. Okay, we're sitting okay in the saddle. We're not bouncing around too much. Level three horse riding skill is already doing something. Okay, let's um, dig that up. Hopefully we get something really good from this. Okay, what was that? What did we just get? Oh no, a treasure map. Oh, and someone told me in the comments that you can use multi-select to sell the capsules as well, even though you can't directly drag them over here. So we can sell this. I'm pretty sure that having this in your inventory just means that the next time you dig up something, it's gonna be one of those capsules. I don't want that, so I'm gonna sell the treasure map if that was a mistake. I'm sorry, but let's travel. I wanna do a horse competition and I want some food. So let's go to the rusty horseshoe. Let's take our horse with us. Oh, and we really need some grapes, but none of the plants have gotten any fruit on them yet. Okay, so here's the rusty horseshoe. It's like a converted barn. Is there any way to get food around here. There is definitely bathrooms, so we can just get our hygiene up a little bit. Yeah, we can order chips again, right? Who is this, James? Hello, let's um, get some chips. And the equestrian center closes at seven, so I definitely wanna go there before seven and do a competition. Oh, are you eating? Is that prairie grass? Oh, that looks really good there. It like, blends in with the rest of the environment. I kind of love that. Okay, let's get our chips. There we go. Anybody here we want to get to know? Almond? Yeah, I think with this pack you get some really funny names for your sims that kind of sound like animal names. I've seen a bunch. This is the first one in the series, so this is Almond. We can do an introduction. She looks cute. Swallow? Swallow Black. Tell me that's not an odd name. Swallow? Is that a bird or something? Wait, our hunger is completely full. Oh my gosh. We do have the dance floor here as well, where you can do the cowpoke dance, which a couple of these sims are doing. 
our horse is asleep. But we are confident and that is really, really good for competitions. Our horse, the fun is a little bit low, but hopefully we can still place okay. Okay, she's awake. That looks like a very buggy <laughs> um, animation. Okay, that's fine. Let's mount our horse. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. And then I want to ride to the equestrian center, which is over here. Oh no, our horse is uncomfortable. I'm assuming because of the fact that the hunger is low. I love this area as well. Look how cute. Why is that her face though? <laughs> I thought she was fine. That's funny. Okay, perfect. So, oh, it's free to enter the competitions. No, it's not. Okay. I didn't think it was. It's a hundred. Um, we want to do barrel racing because that's the only thing that we've been practicing. So the recommended skill level for horse riding we do have, but we do not have the recommended agility and endurance skills. And if we don't place, we don't get our money back. But if we come third, we double our money and first we triple our money. Let's see, endurance racing, no. We could do Western Pleasure, because look, our temperament is a little bit closer. Yeah, let's do Western Pleasure. I feel like we're more likely to place in that. Entry free is 100. I don't know why they get off their horse. Like, why can't you just ride your horse in there? I feel like you should be able to. I've seen townies ride their horses in here. I don't know if that's intentional, but yeah, hopefully we can place. Fingers crossed, this is our first competition. Okay, we're almost done. <gasps> yes! <laughs> okay, great, we got the third place bronze medal. Perfect, so we doubled our money and we can now participate in the intermediate competition. Your horse was a little tense, but your performance was enough to earn you third place. With a little more trust and work on those fine details, you'll be able to move up the ranks with ease. Perfect. I'm so happy. Are we gonna come out this way? The doors have closed because it's past seven. I did not notice that detail before. We definitely have to like rub her neck or like give her a hug or something because she was so good. Yay! I think the grocery store... Oh, it's not closed. <gasps> okay, let's um go buy ourselves. A little a mini sheep, I think. Oh my god, we got a trophy as well, which is worth 100. Do we want to sell it? Oh my god, our horse is scared again. Um, Do we want to sell it or should we just keep it? Because, you know, we earned that. Also, breed the frogs again. <laughs> Don't forget to do that. There we go. More money. Literally, one of those frogs is worth a sheep or a goat. So... I really want to get a sheep for some reason. I love both of them, but I just want some wool, I think. Because obviously I, we are going to sell most of the produce, but I don't really, there's nothing I can really do with milk, but I can do something with wool. Oh my God, the black mini sheep is extremely expensive. So we can get a cream one, which is very cute, or a white one. Let's get a cream one. That sounds cute. 150. Oh my God, we have 600. Yay! Oh my god, you have purchased the new animal. They're in your sims inventory. Here it is. Okay, we need to give it a name, but let's go back to our home lot to release it. Although, can I find any plants to harvest? There is prairie grass. Yeah, see, you can never get the fun up. There's no freaking way. But let's uh, mount our horse because you can actually guide your horse to look through the prairie grass. So I'm going to do that. Just going to clean those hooves first because it's very important that there's nothing lodged in there. When you go riding. Are you scared of the Grim Reaper? It's okay. He's not coming. You know what we didn't do? We didn't go to the caves today. We could quickly do that still. Uh, Firefly reached endurance level two. Perfect. I think, yeah, we're coming over here. She will become less fatigued when using horse barrels or jumps. Nice. I haven't really noticed the fatigue much yet, but you can't do it like infinitely. So yeah, let's um, guide horse to search prairie grass. and Maybe Firefly can find us something to sell. This world is just so pretty and the horses are pretty. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Are you good? Are you good? You're not very good. Oh, we're coming down. Is that how spooked you got? 
Okay, fine. We are gonna harvest this ourselves. Don't eat it. Oh my god, this is dangerous. <laughs> Careful. Okay, nothing in there, but I do want to come over here where we went last time because there was a bunch of things over here that we can dig up and look through. <gasps> oh my god, we just got bucked off. I wasn't even looking. Let's ask for cooperation. Okay, we're good. Can you also hear the sounds of this? I love it when they go on the cobblestone. The hooves on the cobblestone sound amazing. Oh my god, look at us under the starry sky. Yeah, um, Firefly really doesn't want to look through these, but I'm trying. Okay, I'm just gonna harvest all of these on our own. We can sell this cheap frog. Okay, let's sell what we got. Okay, so you can sell the capsule and then we'll also sell the manure. Although it was outstanding quality. Actually, yeah, let's save that in case we can start our garden tune. Yep, Firefly is feeling bored. I know, we're gonna go home. I just need to go and use the bathroom at the bar. I feel like maybe we should buy a toilet for our lot. I think that would be very useful. You know, you can actually ride in here. You can ride into the barn, which is ridiculous. Here we go. <laughs> what on earth? Oh my gosh. There are a lot of people here, but I don't know if we're gonna chat to anyone right now. It is the middle of the night, so I kind of want to just go home. All right, we're back home. Let's, um, oh yeah, let's go release our little sheep. It also needs a name. What kind of theme do we want to do? I do like the flowers theme. Usually I do flowers for cows. Months is a good one. Gemstones. <laughs> Wait, I want to do food. Let's just do food. That's such a- Oh my god, I'm gonna call it porridge. I just know I'm gonna call it porridge. Okay, let's place our little sheep. I just think animals that are named after food are always so funny. <gasps> Hello! Oh my god, let me just rename you. No, not Mary. <laughs> oh my god, I have caps on. There we go, a little porridge. Oh my god, hold on. Oh, are you gonna pick it up? Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay, you can't even see. Oh, adorable. Hello. Oh yeah, and we can share it for simoleons or we can get the wool, but let's just do the simoleons for now because I don't think we need wool right now. So 30 simoleons every time it's ready to be sheared. Oh, adorable. And it can sleep here with the horse and it can also eat from here. Yay! Oh my god, we have 600 simoleons. Let's talk about cotton candy life. And then you can bottle feed them or brush them, which maybe we should do. How's it doing? Happy, clean, full, content. Look at the little brushing animation. It's too cute. Okay. How much are seeds packets? Can you buy them from the phone? Oh, you can. Okay, so seasonal. Okay. It's true that if you put a roof on the plants, right? Like if we build a greenhouse, you can grow these outside of the season as well. Starter fruit, starter flowers, vegetables. <laughs> are grapes, they're fruit, right? You can also do apples, which is a fruit. Those are the first two that you can do with level one skill. So let's get starter fruits. Maybe just one for now. And then we can open this open seed packet oh my god we got six grapes that's so good okay let's start our little garden should we do that in the morning no because then they'll have time to grow while we sleep i'm gonna do it somewhere over here so uh, let's um plant some of these perfect and then come over here and plant these and we can start on our gardening skill she's tired though but again look how stunning this world is i know that's just like a starry sky but I am loving it. So yeah, let's let's get our garden started. Oh my God, we're gonna have grapes. And that only cost us 35 simoleons. That was cheap. Oh, and I have great soil, so they should turn out pretty good. Look, we got some rootlets, baba, mini sheep, cute animal bonding, and then burden of love. <gasps> Look at porridge going to sleep over there. Adorable. And our garden is done. 
We're just gonna listen to Firefly and we should definitely water these. But cute! Okay, we're starting on our garden. Very small for now. Should we plant the bananas? We probably should do that tomorrow. Or the plantain. Plantains? Is plantain like a singular or is that plural? I do not know. But let's um, how are you doing? You're good. So I'm just gonna go to sleep once we're done with this. Okay, we're off to sleep again. Just so cute. Everything in this pack is cute or stunning or beautiful. Look at little porridge. Oh my god, those ears look so big. I think we should get up. I don't think we should sleep past 10. Ew, bugs. Ew, Tara might not be able to see them, but she can just feel the skittery legs. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, how's our... Okay, Porridge is doing good. Oh, Porridge is ready for sharing again. Okay, let's do that. Firefly is still asleep. I'm thinking we'll quickly buy a couple of items. Do these need watering again? No, they're good. Oh, it's out of season. Oh my gosh. I think if we do like quick little beams, like columns and then a roof. Okay, these are only 25. Is this the cheapest one? Yeah, okay. So these are from the pack. Which one do we like better? This one we could do, I don't know the color scheme yet. Or we could do the round one. Oh, I love that one. Let's do the round one. So we'll do a tiny, that cost us a hundred. Not great, but now we can put a roof and hopefully that will be good. Okay, so I have to place the roof like this, but there we go. We'll put it here. And obviously bring that down. That does not look too bad. Let's just make it like a dark color and roofs are free, yep. There we go, can these grow now? I'm hoping that they can, but while we are here in build mode, we should get a toilet. So we can now afford one, 250 is the cheapest one. Is that a waste? I feel like it's not. How much was the shower? 300, 335, this one could be good because it's the camping one, but the tub was only 150. Can we take a bath in the middle of our lot with no walls? Sure. All right, I'm gonna do it. Maybe we should save our money, but we're constantly making more money, so I think it's okay. We can afford both of them, perfect. Okay, great, let's um take a bath. And let me check on our plants. Sheltered, yeah, okay. So it says sheltered and it doesn't say out of season anymore. <laughs> Look at our, no privacy. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> oh my God, even more. Okay, this is interesting. Oh my, stop that. We should get the mini fridge too. I totally forgot about that. I think we'll head to the caves now, do the caves, and then I'm gonna finish this episode. I've been recording for close to an hour, and then we'll continue next time. Hopefully we can start on nectar making. Yeah, we should buy the little nectar rack thing where you can age it. We can do more competitions and start on horse jumps because we do have this over here. I forgot we can practice over here. This is such a stunning area. Encourage horses to breed. Well, we only have one. Although, she's a mare, so if we took her to Guzman's horse, maybe we could encourage them to breed. You know, that could be kind of cheeky. Although, once your horse is pregnant, you can't ride it, so that kind of sucks. But the pregnancy doesn't last too long. All right, let's get done with this shower. I mean, bah. Nice, here's one of our outfits that we haven't really seen yet. All right, we're going to the caves. Maybe we'll see Duke here. No, just our horse. Let me breed the frogs again, because I keep forgetting about that. Such an easy way to make money. Okay, my Sim is just walking in circles, <laughs> trying to mount this horse. Are you good? Are you good? <laughs> How long is this gonna go? <laughs> okay, 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 we got a little teleport. Okay, we're on. Let's canter over to the caves. I say it too much, but come on, this area is stunning. Oh, and we're gonna go through the water. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's um look for frogs in this log, and then we're gonna go in. I think that was one of the cheaper ones. Yeah, only 10. All right, let's go in. Hopefully we can 
<laughs> get a little bit further this time and not get kicked out instantly. That was so unlucky. Oh my god, the noises. Okay, so these are the mobs kind of things that are in here, although they challenge you to like an arm wrestling match or a dance battle. So this is your health. This is the bear's health. You can either try and heal your health or do damage to the mob. And we're obviously, we have like six times as much health as it does. So we're gonna do offense and we beat it and we got a cherry. We should plant that. I forgot you got, you get so many stuff from here quality perfect a bat we're gonna do only five out of six damage <gasps> unlucky let's do that again perfect <gasps> now we got a pony toy sells for 30 yeah i don't need that perfect okay here's a spider a dance challenge oh we beat it in first go we got another perfect cherry <gasps> Okay, so treasure chest. This is how we got kicked out last time, but they can also give you money, so yes! We got a rose. Do you want to plant a rose? Maybe. <laughs> These sound effects. Oh my god. A rap battle. See, you can literally spend all day here. It's already 3.30 p.m. We haven't taken any damage. We did six damage. Let's do that again. Okay, our cave progress is 100 out of 100. That means we should go to the next level. Okay, so now we have encountered a door that says, speak ba and enter, or ba. <laughs> what could this mean? So we're gonna need to bring a sheep with us in our inventory. Luckily, we have sheep, so we can do that, but we're gonna just leave now. The door gleams with mystery, but Tara walks swiftly past it. With no more areas in the cave to explore, Tara must exit. But at least we didn't get the dazed moodlet. Oh, and we got some grapes. Perfect grapes. Okay. So I'm going to leave the episode here. That was a great cave adventure. Next time we'll go back in. We'll bring porridge with us so we can enter the next level of the caves. If you have any other tips, leave them in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I feel like it's going really well. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one and bye.